Hey guys, welcome back. This time I want to make flowers again and I'm using the Red Plum. It's a pigment paste from Liris and I received it from the lovely Laura from Laura's Art Corner. And look at this color, it's awesome. My second color is the Angel White. It's a white pigment paste also from Liris. I'm mixing it like I do always with the flower so that it's still a little bit thin and transparent but yeah i was thinking a little bit put it aside but mix my next color and this is the sepia it's a beige tone and this is from petra jungblut it's a mica And my last color, it's now I have to look, it's the Molotov. It's a super shift pearl. Yeah, you see it's brand new. And this is from Dippon. So I'm just mixing this into my resin before I can start pouring. These are my colors. And you see, I was not quite satisfied, so I put a tiny bit more of the white, of the angel white into my resin. I always make it so you can still see a little bit this thick, so it's not too opaque, but also not too translucent. Now I'm pouring my resin into the square mold. The square mold is from Molds and Shapes. I link Molds and Shapes into the description box and there's a promo code PT5 for 5% discount. And the resin I'm using here is the Ultra Cast resin, and I let it set a little bit. Um, I let it set this time um, around about 20 minutes, but you always need to see because um, for me it's always different um, how long I let the resin set. At the moment, it's quite mild temperature, so. It's setting quite quickly, but when it's getting colder, it, it takes longer. I never take temperatures. I only go by the feeling. So please, um, that's why I'm never giving any real details in how many minutes or whatever. The best is if you can get or achieve a consistency like, like honey. But anyway, so I'm ready for pouring and I'm starting using the stick and I just go in squares. You see it, I just make square lines. Just use the white. And I think it's always challenging to make a flower in the square mold. It's um, to achieve a nice design because it's completely different as if you had a, a round shape or a round kind of shape. But anyway, so now I'm taking the red plum and this is my outer line. And I'm just pulling the stick through on top of the white, you see it? Next color is the sepia, this beige tone. And I hope that those colors are really mixing well with each other or mix, um, matching well with each other. Then I'm taking the, let me think, the Molotov. It has a green sheen and a little bit purple. So it's really beautiful. And I ended um, with the red plum, as you saw, and I put some glass stones, champagne glass stones into my mold. And now I'm swirling like, um, yeah, like I did in my last video, but more like a flower shape. And then I make my swirl in the middle. For the next one, I'm just going in stripes. So you see it. And 
and you really have to take your time. I already speeded up this video by three times, so you can imagine that I'm quite slow in pouring my, my white and yeah. So there's the red plum again and then the sepia. Just putting this on top of my white. And there's a Molotov. It's, I really adore this color also. And then in the center again, the red plum. And there I'm just going from up. You see what I'm doing. <laughs> So I have no idea what's coming out, but it's just trying out a little bit new things. So my resin is really getting thick and I'm just going in a square spiral. And I'm going in the first round on top of my white with the plum. Then the sepia. Then the Molotov. And again, the plum for the rest. And then I'm just putting the glass stones into the center. And I'm also swirling all around and the swirl in the center. And with my last one, I really didn't know what to do. So at first I went in lines, you see, in small lines. And then I thought, hmm, what can I do? So I just went with the flow, just did anything. You see it. Just put a little bit white around. Then I'm taking the plum. Also just go around. sepia and again the Molotov yeah there I really didn't know what to expect um, also my resin really became um, quite thick now I'm going around again with some white. And then I'm making also um, some swirls. And what I should have not done is the swirl in the center. I can already say this. <laughs> so this is a close up. And with this one, I'm very curious because I like how the blendings are on that side. And I'm also very curious about that one because those two are my favorites. Yeah, there you see um, the swirl is not so nice. But yeah, next day, time for demolding. And I'm very, yeah, I'm really curious what I've done there. So yeah, let's start with the first one. And... Look at that. Look at the blendings. I really love them. Love the color. These, this red plum is very beautiful. This is my second one where I just did the lines. I love the effect and um, I have to play on this too to see what I can do. I really love it. And look at that one. This is my favorite one. Look at this. 
this is really beautiful and now the last one where yeah i should have not swirled <laughs> now i know so next time please shout that i should not swirl but anyway this is the end result i hope you liked the video i hope it was also inform yeah that it helped helps you for the blooms and if you like the video i would be happy for a thumbs up if you are not subscribed i would be really happy if you would do you would really help my channel and yeah always leave me a comment tell me what you think which one is your favorite flower i'm i'm really curious and i also wonder what you think about the colors okay thanks for watching guys take care Bye-bye.